Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about some, well, new stuff is not the correct, correct term, but at least something that is new. I've just returned from the US where I visited with Whiting, uh, had a long, good, heartfelt talk with Tom Whiting regarding a lot of different uh, topics and a lot of different things. Saw some amazing feathers as always, but one of the thing that we, we, things that we really talked about was the uh, was the Whiting Space Series. The Whiting Space Series are these magnificent feathers that are just, without a doubt, the best feathers in the world for tying strips. And uh, and for some reason, uh, it, it has to do with genetics and stuff. Um, the Whiting has not been able to uh, to to breed more of the of the spay spay birds, so they are now trying to kind of breed backwards and create the spay feathers all over again. But that's a very difficult process. Um, Tom promised me that he would do his utmost to, uh, to actually uh, complete this, but that there, it was, there was no certainty in this. The earliest, the earliest forecast he had for me was that perhaps in, uh, perhaps in late 2023, um, he would know if, if it would be possible to, to bring the spay back. Um, and that's also the earliest, um, the earliest he would have some available. So, um, with that in mind, um, the spay capes have been completely impossible to get hold of, uh, but we have managed, um, <laughs> and that was no small feat, to actually get a lot of the spay saddles in stock. And I, 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 I really hope that this is not the case, but this could potentially be the last spay we're going to see. Um, the space saddles are different from the space capes. Um, if, if you have, imagine you have the cape here, and then the feathers behind the cape is is, is called the saddle. Um, and the, the the feathers here, uh, a saddle like this is cheaper than the cape, but that is because the feathers here are not as good as the cape feathers. There is a lot of usable feathers on on a on a on a saddle like this, and and there's a lot of things you can do with dubbing loops and stuff, but. With all that being said, the the, ca the capes are the best for the strips, but the capes are not available. So the only thing that I know I will have, uh, at least as long as, as stock lasts, are the space saddles. So if you are, have run out of, of spay and you're need, in need of spay for your strips, then uh, as I said, the capes are the best. But the only thing that is available, the only thing you can get your hands on are these saddles. And these only last as long as stock lasts. I'm not sure I will, I will be able to get any more of these. I have just now added uh, a lot of, uh, of all the best colors to the website um, in regards to, uh, to shrimp patterns. I mean, this, uh, this, this grizzly dyed, uh, dyed tan, for instance, is just really, really awesome. I have loads of the... Um, of the uh, of the all famous uh, 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 pedigrees and color here, the salmon pink, uh, but also you know a grizzly pink and stuff. So as I said, these are great feathers. Uh, I I also find actually that that a lot of these are really really well suited for for uh, for pike flies and for bait fish flies. Basically, just tie one of these in uh, one of the longest here into the. Um, into the actual, uh, make it a wing on, on a fly that works really well as well. So there are multiple applications for these, not just for the shrimps. But as I said, the capes are better, but this is what there is. And, uh, and I only have these as long as stock lasts. I was lucky enough to get some anyway, but basically that's, that's how it is with the, with, the, with the space situation just now. So swing by Nordic Anglers to get, um, Get some of the colors that you need, um, because who knows when they'll be back. Oh, and just uh, one other thing is, uh, um, we still have a few of these uh, Grizzly and Grizzly variant uh, Coctillon roosters. Perfect for all your streamers, all your shrimps. Also a great cape for shrimps, um, and and all everything in between those. They're on sale now at the web shop. So if you haven't bought any of of these. I would urge you to swing by and grab some of these um, while uh, while the sale is, is just going on is still going on. Um, they're at a very very uh, good discount, so uh, quality capes at a discounted price at Nordic Anglers as well. And the last thing I want to say today is um, while I'm doing this video, I'm I'm literally shaking with anticipation because tomorrow is opening day in the Danish Salmon Rivers. So um, I'm gonna go there for for three diff for three days. Gonna fish a lot of different water. I have I'll bring Stefan and and we'll do a lot of videos about that as well. So 
stay tuned for more um, regarding salmon, upcoming salmon movies. Um, and if you're going salmon fishing in Denmark uh, in the next couple of days, then from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope that you, just you out there, catch the big uh, fish of a lifetime. I'm going to try my best to get one, but you know, <laughs> it's tough early in the season. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish until I drop for the next couple of days. So that will be awesome. Otherwise, um, as always, you can buy all the stuff I've shown here, uh, in particular the uh, the space saddles at uh, at Nordic Anglers. Um, there is a link in the bottom of uh, beneath the video here, um, and also subscribe to the chap. <coughs> Sorry, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, that would make me uh, very very pleased and very very happy. Um, I think all there's left to say is I wish you all the best of luck out on the water. Thank you so much for watching.